Hi again everybody. Another tutorial. This is about a clamp meter. The best multimeter and clamp meter that I believe is available to to buy is this one. And first you have to understand the concept of clamp meters versus a regular current meter. For regular current meter, if this would be a wire that we're about to measure, let's say this is going to a fuse. We would, we would have to interrupt the circuit or break the circuit somewhere, either here, physically, strip the wire into two ends, put the meter in between the wires. Now, obviously, that's a lot of work to do. The clamp meter solves the problem. As you see, the, the clamp meter allows you not to interrupt the circuit, not to, to break the circuit. But what we do is we put this around the wire. Therefore, we can see how much current is going through the wire, through whatever component's going to. And as you know, I made a lot of videos. Please subscribe to my channel, Automotive Electronics Schematics by Joseph, and you'll understand further analysis what I'm referring to. Now, the trick is, like I said, if you want to measure current through, let's say, let's say from the battery in, your, in the auto, in the car, well, the old way would be, obviously, to take the battery, the positive, remove it, put the clamp meter, put the clamp meter, one side of the clamp meter, which is the positive, to the, pos to the positive battery, and the other one would be to the negative of the clamp that you just took away from the battery. You're going in series. Now, the question, and I made so many videos about what happens if you have a parasitic draw, meaning if you have a draw over time. This is much easier. How do I know how much current I'm going to measure when it has a parasitic draw? You don't know. So if you take a regular meter, it goes up to 10 amps. This solves the problem. As you can see, this goes up way more than that. This is a actual, like a multimeter measures voltage. Right over here for DC, measures for AC. It measures ohms for continuity. It has a continuity so it rings over here. And it goes up 200 amps DC. It goes 200 amps AC. <clears throat> now, obviously, when you were talking to your car, you're talking about DC. So this solves the problem of, well, maybe I'll measure more than 10 amps on my regular meter. I put this around the cable like I'll show you later on in the video. And I put this to 40 amps. I'll clamp it like this around the one coming out of the negative or the positive of the of the battery so therefore this is in my opinion this is the best meter out there it's cheap and it's not that expensive like other meters you don't need 400 amps or 600 amps unless you're going to measure the crank current right here all you all you're concerned with is measuring dc volts from the battery or if you need it for ac volts whatever reason sometimes you have charges in your in your car as I, and I will demonstrate, you have the functions over here. It says AC and DC. Some only make for AC. This makes for AC and DC clamp meter. So you can measure the output of the current of your car battery. So therefore, if you have all your accessories on, the lights on, and you measure 15 amps or 12 amps, you can put this around the wire and you'll it'll display how much. Well, other thing that I like is it tells you the unit of measurement that you're on. Amps, right now I'm on amps. If it would be on this, it would tell me DC volts. The other function that I like is you could put on hold. Hold means whatever measurement you have, that's the measurement it'll hold in memory. And you don't have to put the probes there. And you don't have to leave the probe, the meter on the thing you're measuring. Other thing is 120, 
120 volts uh, AC, if you're measuring, you can also measure the, 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 the duty cycle. 120, as you can see, it tells you AC volts over here. It tells you the unit measurement that you have this range on. So therefore, now if you go to ohms, you have something called zero. If you're going to measure current, let's say I'm going to measure current on DC. Now, you're going to have numbers fluctuating eventually on the display. So what you always have to do is you always have to zero, this button zero. When you see the zero, that means it'll be more accurate and, it'll, and the display will be around zero, close to it as possible, not always perfect. Per perfect. That's what you do. In my opinion, this is the best, cheapest meter you can find uh, um, for the viewers. Like I said, do not use a regular meter up to 10 amps. You'll blow the fuses on those things. And I will demonstrate this in the car, and you'll understand more what I'm talking about. Please subscribe to my channel, Automotive Electronics Schematics by Joseph, and you'll get more of an understanding what this meter does. Thanks.